Well, this is the site of the old power station, but soon you'll start to see the new gas turbine station start to emerge, creating 600 new jobs and then 50 permanent jobs once the site is up and running. And after years of decay here in Carrington, it's a much-needed boost. Cleaning of the site or enabling works will start almost immediately but the actual physical construction won't start for about a year. And then over the next three years, about three to three, 36 to 39 months, the plant will actually be built, physically built. In and terms of power, what does it mean for the area? We're going to use natural gas because it's the most efficient thermal power there is. And in terms of the local area, 860 megawatts is probably enough to power about half of Manchester. Is this a positive thing for the area? It's a very, very positive thing in a time where you know, you're hearing about people losing jobs. It's a £500 million investment scheme and it will create, certainly in the construction phase, 600 jobs. That is, that is something to be very, very positive about today. Now tell us, has there been any opposition to these plans? No. None at all? No, none, nothing, nothing of any significance, no. So just tell us what it was like working at the power station. It was uh, good working at the power station then. It was a happy ship. People were uh, like working there. Uh, they were a good crew, and I think that's why Carrington Power Station maybe lasted a little bit longer than uh, similar power stations. The new power station should be operational by 2013. Beverly Walkden for Channel M News.